from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. The man killed by agents in a shooting at the San Ysidro border was a U.S. citizen. We're told that the man refused to stop at the secondary inspection area and tried to drive straight into the U.S. Agents say they tried to stop him and that he fired shots. Agents returned fire. The man was hit and killed. No border agents were hurt. The man has been identified, they say, but investigators are waiting to release his name. They have not talked about why he would run the checkpoint. Two young people under arrest now after a police pursuit that involved their car slamming into the car of an innocent driver. Police say they tried to pull over the car about two this morning for having dealer plates. The driver took off, hit another car, stopped at a light, but they just kept going. They crashed into a park car and a brick wall in an apartment complex in Bay Terraces and then took off running. Officers caught up and arrested them. Police say the car matches the description of a vehicle involved in a robbery in National City. They are now trying to figure out if the two were involved in that robbery. Today, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors will be talking about building wildfire resilient communities. Over the last 15 years, the board has invested more than $500 million to boost fire emergency services in backcountry areas. The main focus, getting neighborhoods ready for wildfires. They'll also be talking about clearing brush along roads and conducting prescribed burns. So we now know who is part of the first round of artists for the Wonderfront Music Festival. They include Miguel, MGMT, Vince Staples, and Ex Ambassadors. The Bayside Music Festival is backed by some big major sports legends here in San Diego, including Tony Hawk and Trevor Hoffman. It'll debut on November 2nd and last three days. Three-day general admission tickets start at $209. The second round of artists should be announced sometime later this summer. Now let's talk about this June gloom, Megan. I know, very gloomy start to our morning. A little mist, a little drizzle possible once again. We should see better clearing today, especially for inland neighborhoods as we head into the afternoon. Some areas along our coast may only see partial clearing, but better Better clearing, especially tomorrow and Thursday with warmer temperatures. If you're going out downtown, I'm forecasting 69 degrees this afternoon. If you're sticking around for the Padres game, 710 first pitch, about 65 degrees then. And uh, temperatures only drop down to about 64, so pretty mild night for a ball game. Mid to upper 60s along our coastline today, 70s inland, 77 for Poway and in El Cajon. A degree warmer in Julian and right about 100 degrees in the deserts. Tomorrow and Thursday will be warmer with more sunshine. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Cha.